I was uh, cycling home to see my dad on Friday and going through Whittaker in a bit of a rush. And uh, as I went by one of the gardens, I just noticed somebody lying on the floor and somebody else trying to help them up. And I was thinking, oh no, do I have to stop? And I also thought, I'm preaching a sermon about hypocrisy on Sunday, so I'd better stop. So I did, and I would have anyway, I think, but um, the guy was okay. And I was just thinking, did I have to stop? Is it a rule? I think the answer is yes. When we listen to that gospel and Jesus gives us the commandments, the rule of love is the most important one, obviously. And he says to us, that must not just be lip service. Like in the story of the Good Samaritan, they all broke the rule of going to help that man who was injured, apart from the Samaritan. It is a rule. And rules are important because, well, we need them. The whole world needs them. All sorts of different rules are vital. And for us as Christians, they're like guardrails in our journey. They reduce risk. They guard us on our way. They protect us and unite us. They help us to achieve our aims, to fulfill our purpose as human beings. And when we don't take them seriously, we're in danger. We are in danger. But then there's another side. What if the rules themselves almost become our purpose, our real motivation, our cause for living. Remember, the, I was reading a book during the week and just mentioned about um, the sound of music and I was thinking about that Captain Von Trapp who, who blows his whistle and all his beautiful children stand to attention. And for him, it seems like the rules are everything, obsessed with them, some people are like that, Pharisees included. I wonder why. I suspect when we're caught up or het up about the rules, it's often like so many things out of fear. Fear of engaging, sometimes fear of failure. Fear of loving, opening our hearts ourselves up to others and the fear of the real journey the real purpose of life and all of its challenges the pharisees which means the separated ones they built a wall around their lives a sort of a wall of of rules a game that few could win apart from them. And because they could achieve and keep all these rules, it often made them feel superior to others. It was almost like they worshipped the rule. But Jesus reminds them that so often this sort of living is paying lip service. And when he did tell that parable of the Good Samaritan, it was one of those who kept hundreds of different rules, who walked by on the other side when that man had been beaten and robbed, showing that this Pharisee had failed in the most important rule of all, the rule to love. It's expressed too in that Second reading from St. James. Saint, the letter of St. James always puts things very clearly, straight, succinct. And he says at the end of that letter, pure and spoilt religion in the eyes of God our Father is this. Pure and spoilt religion in God's eyes is this. Coming to the help 
of orphans and widows when they need it, and keeping oneself uncontaminated by the world. There's always a danger with rules of two extremes. One is to say they don't matter. All I need to do is love my neighbor. But there are ways in which that love has to be expressed that Jesus makes clear. And the other is to focus on so many small rules that we forget the main one, to love God and our neighbor. Let's pray for God's spirit of wisdom to help us discern how to live out God's law of love.